Hey, Popcorn Kid crew. We have another classic to share with you. This time, we're going to share Sleeping Beauty. Many of you are familiar with Sleeping Beauty. You ready to get started? Well, did you tell yourself that you were the greatest today? Well, you are. You are the greatest. Now you tell yourself that. You say, I am the greatest. Yes, you are. Miss V says, you are the greatest. All right, you guys, here we go. Sleeping Beauty. Once upon a time, there lived a king and queen. When the king and queen gave birth to a beautiful baby girl, the king and queen were filled with joy and decided to hold a christening feast to celebrate. They invited their friends and all the kings and queens and princesses and princesses from other kingdoms all over the land. Five good fairies lived in the kingdom and the king wanted them to be the godmothers to his daughter. One of these fairies was very old and no one had seen her in years or even knew where she was. So when the king sent out the invitations to his daughter's christening, he invited only the four young fairies. The day of the christening arrived. It was a joyous occasion and the palace was full of laughter and dancing. After the delicious feast, the four good fairies gave the princess their magical gifts. Wow. Bending over the crib, the first fairy waved her wand and said, you shall be kind and considerate. The second fairy said, you shall be beautiful and loving. The third fairy said, you shall be clever and thoughtful. The baby girl was promised everything in the world that you could wish for. But just as the third fairy finished giving her gift, there was a loud bang in the palace and the doors flew open. Wow. It was the old fairy. She was furious because she hadn't been invited to the feast. She rushed over to the sleeping baby and waved her wand, casting a curse upon the child. Oh, my goodness. One day, the king's daughter shall prick her finger on a spindle and fall down dead. She screeched, and then she left. The guest fell silent at these horrible words and the queen burst into tears. Oh, the fourth fairy had not yet given her gift. Dear queen, please do not weep. I cannot undo the curse, but I can soften it, she said. She walked to the crib and waved her wand. The princess will prick her finger on a spindle, but she will not die. Instead, the princess and everyone within the palace and its ground will fall into a deep sleep that will last for 100 years. The king thanked the fairy for her kindness and then to protect his daughter, ordered that every spindle in the kingdom be burned. Yes, good job. Wow. The years passed 
and the princess grew into a beautiful and kind young woman, just as the fairies had promised. One day, to amuse herself, the princess decided to explore the rooms in the palace that she had never been in before. <sighs> After a while, she came to a little door at the top of the tall tower. Inside, there was an old woman working at her spinning wheel. The princess didn't know that the woman was really the old fairy in disguise. Oh, you guys, have you read this before? What's that old lady going to do? Do you know what's going to happen? Don't tell. Let's read and find out. Oh, that old lady was the fairy guy. The princess said, what are you doing? She asked curiously. I'm spinning thread, dear child. The woman replied. Can I try? Said the princess. No sooner had she touched the spindle, than she pricked her finger and fell into a deep, deep sleep. A strange quietness came over the palace from the grounds to the tallest tower and the king and queen began to yawn. Oh. Before long, every living thing within the castle's walls had fallen into a deep sleep. As time passed, a hedge of thorns sprang around the palace. It grew higher and thicker every year until only the tallest towers could be seen above it. The story of a beautiful princess that lay sleeping within its walls spread throughout the land. She became known as Sleeping Beauty. Many princes tried to break through the thorns to rescue Sleeping Beauty, but none were successful. The thorn hedge was too thick. Exactly 100 years after the princess had fallen asleep, a handsome prince, having heard the story of Sleeping Beauty, decided to try and break the curse and awaken the Sleeping Princess. The prince didn't know that the fairy spell was coming to its end. As he pushed against the thick hedge, every thorn turned into a beautiful rose and a path magically formed to let him pass. Wow. Soon, the prince came to the palace. Not a sound could be heard anywhere. He saw people and animals asleep in every room. At last, he found the tiny room in the tower where Sleeping Beauty lay. The prince looked at her in wonder and then he kissed her gently. The Sleeping Princess opened her eyes and smiled up at the prince. With that one look, they fell in love. All around the palace, other people were waking up. The king and the queen stirred from their deep sleep and were overjoyed to see their daughter awake. They welcomed the handsome prince who had found their princess. The palace was once again filled with laughter and joy. The king called for a huge wedding feast to be prepared and he invited everyone in the kingdom Sleeping Beauty married 
or handsome prince, and they lived happily ever after. The end. Well, maybe we understand why that fifth fairy wasn't invited to the party. She didn't have any good intentions, or was it just because she was mad? Oh my goodness. You guys, how'd you like this story? Would you please share, comment, subscribe? Let me know what you think about the popcorn kit. I'm having so much fun with you guys. You know what we always do. Give a hug. A kiss. Peace. And love. See you soon.